Now, let's talk about carbide drills. A lot of times, people stay away from them because they're very pricey. But when you look at uh, the value of a carbide drill, you may find that it's not only less expensive, but you don't have to have as much inventory. For example, uh, this 3 8 diameter carbide drill was close to, if I remember correctly, around $90. Now, a standard length jobber drill is like $9, something like that. Maybe we don't really use high speed steel around here, but we have some older stub length cobalt drills, which is kind of like a nice in-between thing. Those run in the teens. But when you look at the feeds and speeds of some of these high performing carbide drills, this in particular is a three flute from Kyocera, which is our go-to brand for carbide drills. You'll find that some of the feeds and speeds are double digit multiples at which you can create holes. For example, our, we, we have a 14 and a half millimeter non-coolant through carbide drill that drills a hole in one shot as if it were, if it, as if you needed through the spindle coolant, um, high pressure coolant, all those things, it just goes in and out and the cost per hole has plummeted. Now that drill was about $150 to $200. I, the reason I don't remember is because we bought it about four years ago and we've never once had to replace it. Um, I think we have one as a backup, but it's still in its case. So when you look at the value that in a very expensive carbide drill brings, it's actually way cheaper and a lot faster which is why we're naming it another speed hack.